So when we think about uh, these kinds of decisions, right, and because we know we have these like powerful impacts, right, we're often interested in like what conditions or explains or what will affect a decision, right? What conditions uh, might affect an outcome? So in this particular case, right, if you think about uh, what, what is going to go into place, right, so if we think about our noodly monster appendages, right, you know, if these are, you know, conditions or changes, so what ends up here um, is that one aspect, right, is going to be, you know, organizational factors. So this is going to be stuff like, you know, if there are directives from, like, the police chief that you have to do certain things or where an officer is patrolled or allocated towards, um, you know, if you know, they're really going to be, like, someone who's, like, by the book um, or if they're going to allow officers to have a lot of discretion. It may also change depending on, you know, like, uh, your supervisor or your what you feel like is the likelihood of, you know, um, you know getting, you know, hate for, like, uh, doing a certain decision, right? Part of it is also going to be related to, you know, like contextual issues. And, you know, so that's going to be stuff like, you know, depending on like the time of day, if it's night, what kind of be, if you have backup, uh, if you don't, um, whether you're going to call someone or not, right? It's pretty, it's pretty important stuff. It's also going to depend a lot, you know, on your neighborhood. So what the what the violence or, you know, crime levels like, uh, if there's signs of disorder, if there's any kinds of community factors, right? Um, you know, they're, because officers tend to be more suspicious than a lot of people, and so if there's, like, a heightened fear or context or something like that, right, then uh, it could, could possibly, you know, like, be a problem, right? We also have to, like, consider, you know, there's going to be, like, your officer background, how much training experience they've had, and you know, where it comes in, right, and how that affects, um, you know, what decisions they make or don't make, right, moving forward um, after that. And, you know, from a different aspect, there's also stuff that, like, a suspect or a civilian brings to an encounter, depending if they're, uh, you know, hostile, if they're, you know, compliant um, or something like that, right? So I think, you know, the part that's, you know, kind of interesting, right, is like, you know, each of these kind of affect the decision making, right, in in ways that can um, or like not be right. And each of these have like profound ways that you can do them, right, because if we view people, right, you know, if we think about the factors that matter most that lead to harsh outcomes, right, so what's leading, you know, to these harsher outcomes, and those are going to be things like arrest um, for using force if you're not. You know what are what's going to lead to these more harsh or more punitive, you know, sanction-oriented kind of stuff, right? So, like one example, right, is that we have to know, right, that officers are suspicious people. And because they're suspicious, right, they are going to, so they don't they don't trust people generally speaking. You know, they, they, you know, they're sort of like trained and they're thought, taught to think that people are out or against them. And, you know, it's a defensive technique. Um, you know, to break, you know, in order, because they're trained that to like, kind of thwart any kind of, like, possible dangers or threats against them. But uh, because it's a defensive technique, right, you know, this creates an environment where officers are going to um, protect themselves um, you know, from possible harms.
So what ends up happening, right, is that if you you know, can't be uh, protected from these possible harms, right, you look for ways to control the situation, right? So officers try to control the situation and protect other people, right? Because they, you know, depending on the context, right, they may have to do that. So what ends up happening in these cases, right, if we're interested in protecting these other people, right, we have to understand, right, in this case, then we know that officers are predisposed to these harsher sanctions. Doesn't mean that this is necessarily quote-unquote right, but we have to understand, like, this is the, the mindset that we're dealing with.